Hello everybody, again, a um, bit of an update to my video from yesterday, or the day before, depending on when I get to post this, uh, and assuming my computer renders the video in time. Uh, I took the charger into work today, put it next to the window, in fairly overcast skies, um, although Dublin was quite warm today, um, it wasn't particularly bright, so it seems like a good average day to try this out, and yes, the battery charged up, and... Uh, the, here's the panel, it's a bit scuffed, but that's because of the plastic protective coating I took off, which kind of bothers me slightly, but it appears to work okay. It goes into this TE106 charge controller, which uh, simply takes a USB input and uh, charges a 3.7 volt uh, lithium ion battery, well, or any number that you may have in parallel. Um, so anyway, I'll just uh, show you what we got to. I didn't get a complete charge. Um, it got up to 3.6, I believe. Let me check. Um, <clears throat> 3.53. And that was uh, six hours charging. So um, I'm actually going to call that viable because <clears throat> I have an idea. Now, I want to create a power box of sorts, and I wanted a box, uh, possibly mounted in a fancy pelican case or some sort of protective case like that, and inside there would be uh, as many of these as I could fit that it within, well, not as many, but a reasonable number, say maybe 10, 2,500 milliamp hour batteries, which potentially would mean the whole, uh, I would have 25,000 milliamps or 20 milliamp hours or 20 amp, 25 amp hours uh now you could get uh lead acid batteries that do the same uh but they're a lot heavier i want something that's fairly compact so i'm talking about something that maybe fits into the size of a half a shoebox and on top of it i would like to have a solar panel but then i would like the ability to slot in more of these solar panels so i'm talking sticking like this to a top of a box but then having the means to slide out other ones if we're working on the assumption it takes, say, seven hours thereabouts to charge about one of these fully in overcast days, then I want something I can put to one side, leave in the sun, and it'll, and so long as I don't use it every day or every or too often, it'll always be ready to go. So it's like a, a backup. I know it's a power pack that you can just take with you. And uh, I'll show you my idea. Pardon me, I just dropped my pen. So what we have here is Robert's idea. Here it is. So this is a very simplistic block diagram of my idea. So we've got the sun here coming in and there's a solar panel. But I don't just want a solar panel to be able to charge this. So I'll just actually tell you what, I'll just go for the whole diagram before explaining it. Sun comes into a solar panel, solar panel is connected to the USB of the TE106 that goes into the batteries and then coming out of the batteries I have a couple of boost converters. Now I might have a couple of boost converters or I might just have one variable boost converter. Now it is quite possible to get boost converters on eBay and from specialist electrical retailers that can take 3.7 volts that come out of the lithium ion batteries and ramp them up as much as 35 volts. But I want 5 volts, 12 volts and 19 volts. And the reason why is 5 volts is the USB voltage for charging phones. 12 volts is very common. Um, it's a, I've seen a lot of uh, mains adapters, powered devices use 12 volts. Various things like uh, battery chargers, um, lights, you name it. I found them anyway. They all seem to be 12 volts. is quite common. And there's 19 volts. And 19 volts tends to be the, the voltage I found that laptops uh, work at. So the actual voltage that comes from the mains adapter into the laptop is usually about 19 volts although some more modern laptops are now using 12. Um, but I find generally laptops from the mainstream manufacturers such as HP and com uh, what's the other one? Uh, Dell and they're like uh, 19 volts. Not Apple. I wouldn't use an Apple. Like, nothing against them particularly but they're not very good for developing software on, and they don't have enough USB ports but that's just me. Uh, and possibly even 9 volts as well. So I don't know if I'd have multiple voice converters or one variable one, but um, I would have multiple outputs as well. So I'd have sing there were simple barrel connectors and also a USB connector. Now, 
here I want to add extra charging options. So I've got here crank. Now I've got this little doohickey which I bought on a uh, eBay. Uh, not very well made, but if I plug this in here, ooh, start winding it up. And if the, it's going to be hard for the camera to focus on this, but it's generating between 4.8 and 5.2 volts. And 178 milliamp hours. So, um, it would take you a while to charge a phone with this, but you can get better ones that will generate about an amp and they tend to be bigger. So, what I want in my power box is one of these as well, but good quality because this one's nasty. You can hear, you hear the gear slipping. And in a future video, I'm going to take this apart. I think this is like a dollar on eBay, and I bought a couple of them and they were all the same. And of course, I want to be able to plug in the mains. So effectively, I want to have a box um, with all this inside. So I want multiple input op multiple input power options, multiple power output options. Um, I got the inspiration from this. Now this is a, a rather nice little solar-powered crank-up radio. Again, I got it on eBay. iGadgets, which I believe is a UK, a UK supplier. Um, you wind it up like that. And the... The gearing on this is so smooth and nice. I believe this uses a big capacitor in the inside for holding its charge instead of a battery or these which would just generate only generate power while you're winding. But it also has the, the solar on top and I actually find that in most cases the solar does grand, you don't even need to wind it up. But this has a USB output which generates 5 volts. Don't, not too sure the amperes, the amp hours, the, sorry the amps because uh, it outputs a mini USB, which is very unusual. I would have expected a full-size USB. I've never actually seen a mini USB power output. So I need to get the correct adapter to make that one so I can test it. But I was thinking if I had something... I would like something like this that I could just carry around uh, and be able to power just about anything. So it'd be like, And I'm thinking of using this for camping or whatever. So, But yeah, this is a nice little radio, actually. It was like uh, 12, 12 dollars or 12... Oh, sorry, 12 euros from a UK supplier. It's quite nice, actually. Um... Our sandwich is so popular. It's 100% fresh Irish chicken, unprocessed, and delivered to our restaurants daily. The new fresh chicken breast sandwich from Supermax. Oh, Jesus, I could go myself a chicken breast sandwich right now. But, um, Supermax is an Irish uh, fast food chain, um, which I actually think is better than McDonald's, but you know, yeah, the food tends to be a bit more earthy, for want of a better word. But anyway, there's my idea. So, in my next video, I'm going to get a start and putting this all together. And uh, first, I'm going to go out and find a box and start wiring things up. There you go.